Hello everyone and welcome to Action RPG. I'm your host Aaron and for today's video we're headed to the world of Last Epoch part of my class breakdown series. And what class are we looking at today? The Rogue. The idea of this series is if you are new to the game, I'm hoping I can help steer you in the right direction. If you're not feeling the rogue by the end of the video, I will link all the other class breakdown videos at the end so maybe you will find something you are looking for. Now the rogue has three masteries the Blade Dancer, the Marksman, and the Falconeer. Now, the Falconeer is not launched yet. This is coming February 21st with game launch. So obviously, we're going to be focusing on the Blade Dancer and the Marksman, and I will talk a little bit around the theming of the Falconeer as well. Now, the Blade Dancer currently has four skills. You have Dancing Strikes, Shadow Cascade, Synchronized Strike, and Lethal Mirage. For the Marksman, if you like having a bow, you have four skills as well. Detonating Arrow, Arrow Storm, Dark Quiver, and Hail of Arrows. And then when you click on the Falconeer, you can't even click on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the quick intro video for the Rogue, and then we're going to log into the game, and I'm going to showcase some of these skills. Enjoy. In the slums of Majelka, I survived by my skill and cunning, a rogue for hire. The wealthy of the city found me useful in making problems disappear. One job changed everything. A disguised Nagasa woman hired me for a hit on the vessel made in a office. The day came. It was her first appearance to the public. My bow was ready. Apophis was in my sight, but just as I was about to lose the arrow, I realized that she was none other than the woman who hired me. Was this a trap? Some game among the priestesses? I wanted no part of it, so I fled. I now travel to Welwyn, looking to put this kind of trouble behind me. All right, everybody, we are now logged into Last Epoch in the training grounds with our first mastery, the Blade Dancer. Now, when it comes to base classes, the Rogue is the newest and latest entry for Last Epoch. And since it's new, er, it feels very good, very smooth, very refined and fun to play. If you play something a little older, then play the Rogue, you'll notice a different immediately a little bit of a difference. But that being said, when it comes to Rogue, you also have the least amount of options for skills. And it, this is at time of recording, right? So if you're watching this later on, this could be fixed by then. The Rogue in its base skills should have 12. Right now it has 10. And then each mastery should have five. And right now they have four and the Falconeer is not available. So right now the Rogue in total is missing nine skills. But that does not mean that these this class and this these masteries are not absolutely awesome because the skills they do have are amazing. Now, starting off with the Blade Dancer, you have Shadow Cascade, a circular attack that also uses your Shadow's clones. Okay. You have Synchronized Strikes, jump forward and strike in an area in front of you while Shadows appear and simultaneously strike on either side of you. Works in perfect conjunction with Shadow Cascade. You have a Lethal Mirage. Become immune for a duration and rapidly strike nearby targets with six Mirages. And last but not least, Dancing Strikes, which is a very interesting skill. A series of fast dash attacks. Dancing Strikes movement does not scale with attack speed, but Dancing Strikes deals 1% multiplicative damage per 3% attack speed. So you're not gonna attack faster, but you are gonna do a lot more damage. Now here's what these skills look like. Very simple, Shadow Cascade, okay? But then when you combine that with Synchronized Strike, all right, and then you have Lethal Mirage. I can't spam that one because it has a cooldown. And then Dancing Strikes. You're dancing. And what's kind of cool about Dancing Strikes is, honestly, it's kind of like Warpath Spin to Win for Barbarian. Right now, I'm just holding the button down. And we are just moving. We're just attacking and bouncing around. And again, you can't scale its attack speed, but you can mount, move around with it. That is the Blade Dancer. Moving over to the Master of the Bow, 
the marksman and just like the blade dancer this mastery has four skills available to it it has multi-shot fan favorite my favorite and if you are a fan of the diablo 2 amazon they took a lot of cues from it and it functions really really well you also have dark quiver inside of this skill you shoot up into the sky and these purple arrows fall down and then you run over them and when you pick up a dark arrow and you shoot you get a special ability that you've specced into into the skill tree you have hail of arrows rain of arrows shoot into the sky aoe and arrows fall down and then lastly you have detonating arrow if you want to not be physical and you want to be a bow mage you can use detonating arrow and you can shoot elements at enemies let me showcase what these look like at the training dummy here's multi-shot a lot of arrows here's dark quiver you see the arrows fall down and then when you run over them you get black arrow so you get a special ability on your next shot hail of arrows Not happening. i like it how they stick in the ground reminds me of the movie and then detonating arrow And I will show these in combat in a little bit. Now, let's quickly talk about the Falconeer. Because even though we don't have anything available to it, there has been some leaks. This is likely going to be the minion class of the Rogue. So, you got Blade Dancer for up close and personal. You got Marksman for ranged. And then the Falconeer is going to be the minion class. We know for sure that there is going to be a Falcon skill, and we know for sure that Falcon skill is going to have minion tags. So that is, for the most part, what we know about the class, and that is coming February 21st. I cannot wait to get my hands on it. All right, everyone, that's the video. What do you think of the Rogue? I'm hoping that this short video helps steer you in the right direction so you make the right mastery selection for Last Epoch. And remember, at the end of this video, I will link the other ones so you can check out the other classes as well. Two asks at the end. Ask number one, I'm hoping today is the day I have earned your subscription. I'm hoping today is the day you make the decision to push that little red button. I would really appreciate it, but of course, only if you think I've earned it. Ask number two, check out my Patreon. Thank you to the first 92 members that have signed up. I get asked all the time, what's the best way to support? And Patreon is it. You get a lot of bonus content. It supports me. It's the absolute best. First link in the description. That's all I've got. Hopefully you're entertained or at least learn something. Aaron, out.